All right, well, I suck at this whole YouTube thing, apparently, because I totally forgot to record while we took the blower off, but the blower's off. We're going to have a lot of cleaning to do now. But other than the dirt that fell in when we took that off, it's not that... Yeah, you're going to want to take that out of there, too. The blower is looking good. There's just there's always dirt that builds up between it and the head, but you can see how much easier that head's going to be to remove now. We'll get the cooling stuff disconnected over on this side. I gotta crawl up in there and get the exhaust disconnected on the inside and a few other things like that and we'll have that head off too. Lance has already started calling around looking for machine shops. And uh, see if we can find a place to get these heads done. Okay, so the exhaust manifold is off. We've got this line disconnected so it's ready to go. Working on getting this coolant line over here on this side of the head off. And then I think everything else is just right over there where Lance is working on getting the thermostat housing and all that off. And we should be about ready to sneak this head out of here. Let's see what we find on this one. There's a big old bolt coming through that's keeping me from getting on this one. How about that? There's a bolt, the water pump bolt that's keeping me from getting, there we go. I say it should be able to go. Okay, so watch your hands. Does it ever break off? Uh, like it's twisting off. I haven't had one do that yet. It should go. Yeah, see? Okay, now we're. Other end. Socket's still back there. Those aren't even the worst bolts on the bus. I feel like there's a little bit more control when I'm pulling. Yeah. Certainly it's more. Plus I can put this 20 pound COVID ass into it. <laughs> That's the 20 pounds I gained during COVID. It's amazing how much even a snap on bar like that flexes with how hard you're pulling to... I was watching you earlier watching this piece twist. That was pretty amazing to me. That is some cool shit. Uh, it's not a Harbor Freight extension, but it definitely is from Tractor Supply, so... <laughs> and a Harbor Freight socket. This is the most workout I've had since I got out of the Air Force. Be careful. Uh, go to the other row. Ne no, next one over. Right here. These. Yep. The other area. You get there eventually. There's only so many options. <clears throat> Boy, that's really let loose. Yeah, there was one on the bottom side that felt really loose when I broke it off, like it wasn't fully torqued. <clears throat> got those. Should be in the centers now. I got these? Yeah. Good. He thought you had more work than that still. There you go. That was a good one. I wonder if we're going to find a cross ass nightmare on this one. <sighs> I mean, if we do one, we do them two. Well, as far as taking them to the machine shop, they both have to be done. So Yeah, if we're taking one, we'll take both. It, at this point, I mean, it's already coming apart for an in-frame. Might as well have both heads fresh, ready to go, mm. right? Because, you know, you always want to think what could be the next problem right. if we can fix it while we're in here we'll fix it while it's in here so since we're filming we can talk to people mains so on an in-frame we will get to the bottom I mean, we will be able to get to the bottom of the crank i mean we could yep. drop the crank and do the mains and uh, then you, all of the what we'll be messing with the connecting rod bearings so you're gonna get all new rod bearings the rods are coming out because they'll be swapped over to the new cylinder kits okay your main bearings are going to be replaced, but you don't take the crank out. The crank stays in place. You take the cap off and you roll the slide bearings out. on the back. Okay. Yep. You, you, you slide them around the crankshaft and yeah. slide the new ones back in. Do you ever see those marred or anything? Or um, Sometimes. Um, what would do that? Just pure debris. age? Bad, okay. De mostly debris. Oil. Yeah. I mean, excuse me, debris and oil. Yeah. So you could have um, metal or something like that running through it. Stuff like that would cause it, but... 
Um, I haven't seen anything that is putting me to worrying about that at this point. Anything metallic. We've looked at oil in this before when we drained it, trying to see if we had metal and stuff. We've not seen that to date. Um, it's been, you know, since I've owned it. You know, Anheuser-Busch ran this. It probably was pretty regularly serviced, but yeah. it had quite a life after that. I know it was run as a party bus. I did find a party bus card in, in the bus with a drawing of it. It's kind of fun. a better drawing than I can find anyplace else online. Um, probably was pretty well taken care of. When we got it, as you you know from earlier videos and working on it, I mean, it was just a dusty old bus that they just drove the hell out of it. So. Yeah, it's come a long way. You almost wouldn't recognize it today if you saw it. I yeah. remember. I remember. I came home from school one day, <laughs> came home from high school, and this thing was sitting in the driveway. And I was like, "Oh God, he bought another one." I thought it was Dad's. No, I just met some guy online named Lance who said, "Take it. Oh, oh, what could I, I can't do anything else because of a, a shop that sells a tires. Shop, a shop that sells tires to be unnamed in Whiteland, uh, Indiana, just south of Indianapolis, right off the exit, right there. Yeah, near a truck stop." Yeah, after they uh, supposedly fixed everything. Yeah. yeah. I, I I came home, from, I, I pulled in the driveway, and this was sitting right next to Benny, the fishbowl. And I was like, oh, God. So we've decided, well, we're going to leave the thermostat housing on here. It looks that it uh, it cannot, it has to be removed with the head because it's bolted behind this yeah. uh, this piece of iron we'll get it off once we get the head off what's this piece of iron called that goes all the way around here that these other accessory things are um that is a partial gear train on the front it's not a full one like on the back Got but it. that's what's driving your water pump and stuff because so you have the cam on this side for the pulley for auxiliary drive and this side has a gear off the end of the cam okay what and is this uh right here the... there's something i've seen sticking out forever it's probably an axis plug to the end of the camshaft <coughs> Oh, um, everywhere. oh yeah you'll be breathing that stuff in all day you just randomly inhale and die yeah i guess that's what i always see on the end here i'm like what is that so it's an access cap yeah and then the water pump we'll, we'll get the water pump off there and go what do these two it. things do right here those are plugs that go into the cooling system so if this was a after cooled engine if it had a turbo that is where the coolant would return to the block okay so it's got a feed off the It'd front something that would go in there and two fittings mm -hmm. yep. on each side so my uh, fire engine, it's got a, with, uh, That's where your after cooler is. The after cooler is down in there. Yep. So I've had a couple people reach out to me about Big Mac, and they, uh, uh, while well, Bob from Georgia, he, uh, I reached out to him about uh, air throttle and stuff, and he's looking for some stuff. But he said he was telling me that that turbo TA was primarily put in fire engines, and it's a screamer. And he says once you, once we get that throttle adjustment right, it is going to be a screamer because i think with the word he used he can he can uh go in the comments here and tell us what he said but um that's pretty cool we'll get that thing lined up right and get the kick down right it it uh, i could tell it wanted to go i mean i don't feel like we were anything in the throttle when we were cruising oh yeah there, so which lance has been playing with that bus a lot since it's been back and uh what all have you got working everything <laughs> everything works on it we're gonna try there'll be a probably a different video tomorrow on uh Tyler's channel. Uh, we're going to work on the generator. I don't know how much work we're going to do. We're just going to go through it. And uh, I just can't believe how everything on that coach has worked. Um, every lighting system. It, there's some really cool stuff that you're going to laugh when I show this to you. When we get back there, I've, there's some ideas I've told you I wanted to do with this or some of the others that they did. And I'm like, damn it. And they did it 50 years ago. But especially with the lighting, there's some pretty unique stuff they did with the lighting. But the 12 volt, the reason we didn't have 12 volt working is you have to remember on, on a custom coach, all 12 volt systems run off of the the generator battery. It doesn't matter what it is. And the battery disconnect, if you remember from the video, is up at the front. And uh, so even when I had a battery in it, I was, when it's disconnected, um, I don't know the logic, but everything went to ground. I don't know what that is or why, but once you activated the battery at that switch, then everything works properly. But once I put a, I put a charger, I took the battery out and put a positive and negative, just a two, two amps on there and everything came up. It has a badass stereo system in her. I don't know if that just demonetized you. I'm oh, you're sorry. you're good. Uh, uh, we're far an, enough into the video that we're good. It is an awesome Alpine stereo system <laughs> that my kids and we don't have a nice stereo system at the house. We do in the cars maybe, but it is fantastic. Uh, I don't know who did that. Um, the receipts say that Custom Coach did it in 1990 something, 
it's fantastic. Uh, it's really rich. But yeah, everything, the radar detectors, the CB, it's got a, um, it's got an old school weather channel. Bedford, Williamson, Franklin counties, beware. Strong, strong line approaching. All night. Laugh. Yeah, it, it cracks me up. Now we look at our phone, it had no weather thing in there. Uh, someone picked up and wrote in the comments on that video that uh, it's got some sort of a CB boost, something that boosts your CB uh, uh, broadcast and reception range. So I think I need a new antenna on it. The only thing that uh, that I have uh, been disappointed in, almost all MCI owners run into this, the lights across the top, water got into them. They weren't built very well. And what happens is the water seeps in the top of the light, fills up the light lens until it gets to the bulb and then shorts everything out. Um, I did uh, replace some of the marker lights. I got new marker lights from a place in California. Those armored lights. Air conditioners, ice cold. Uh, that, Tyler, that's the part I was most excited about. Yeah, it, uh, we're, we're a little low on one of the systems, so Tyler's going to demonstrate tomorrow. I bought a servicing kit, and we had a whole 20-gallon tank of, uh, or 20-pound tank of uh, R12 hot shot. And we're going to service the front a little bit tomorrow. He's going to show me how to do that. Um, Man, I'm almost ready to have that thing working. The interior cleans up real nice. Uh, glass, there's four pieces of broken glass I'll be replaced next week. Um, uh, Iron Man's done. The glass has been done in it. It'd be good to see what that looks like. Um, adjust the bumper and adjust the door stop that we talked about. And uh, the air step, I mean, no, okay, the, that, that one air step wants to go out. I don't know why it's not doing it. So we'll figure that out tomorrow. Maybe we can get a chance to look at it. But. That bus has been, of all the buses I've bought, it's the most I've ever paid for one, and it's it's uh, in the scope of what uh, these other buses that are coming here to Bus Grease Monkey Ranch, I I bought the Dime Store version, but it's the best bus I've ever bought. It, everything works, and that's what they told me. They said, you're going to be surprised, and I really am. So, and, and it, other than one leak on some sort of a panel like this on a cap off, it doesn't leak, so I don't know. <laughs> it's, we'll see. Pretty excited about that bus. I'm gonna check it out and drive it tomorrow. Maybe we'll do that. You've not done any inside footage of it, Ryan. So no, just that little bit where we took it up to second gear, going past their shop in Ohio. Maybe we'll take it out for it. Um, I know Jerry's coming. One of my drivers is excited to see it. He's coming tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. So we'll check it out for a ride. And I haven't tried to start it since we got it home, so we're gonna find out if we do have a pinhole in that one line. And if it does, we know it, we know it, how to fix it this time, and I'll get a new line. Yep. Which. Guys, drop down below in the comments if you want to see Lance get a channel for Lucky Dog and all of his buses. We're 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 pushing him. Uh, yeah, let me know. <laughs> I I know I'd like to watch it. Lance, I'd love to see him sit down and do the full story behind each bus. If you guys want to see those videos, drop the comments down there. Light a fire under him. He'll we'll get it done eventually. Some of these have multiple stories. This this one from working in the airline business it was built. Pretty, pretty unique to have a uh, as far back as 1961 to have a bathroom delete. This was built as a bathroom delete, um, and never saw over the road until Anheuser Busch owned it. Very little. Neat little fact about this uh, is that this bus, uh, when it was working with An uh, Anheuser Busch and Bernie Little, the years 77 and 78. Uh, one of my high school, uh, a girl I went to high school, uh, Marianne Snyder and Denise Snyder, two sisters, their dad, Rick Snyder, drove Miss Budweiser those years. And when I bought that, maybe I've told this story before, but uh, when I finally told people I had bought this and published it, um, someone out of the blue just called me and said, hey, that's the bus my dad used to travel on. I remember that being here in New Bremen. And I'm like, you got to be kidding me. And that's just a small world, how it all ties together. That, but uh, Iron Man, uh, uh, Tyler and I found out when we were up there two weeks ago, has another history between Batesville Casket uh, and me and the other owner. There's a, we'll tell that story later. It's pretty interesting. Very cool. Man, we're about to take this head off. Um, I'm, I didn't think we'd get this far today. I, I'll be happy. If we have the heads off and I just have to mess with getting the oil pan and putting cylinder kits out, I'm pretty happy. I think we'll probably cut it off there. You can go enjoy some of your tie off and... It's a Hey Lance day, that's for sure, but it has to be done. You know, of all the things we could have found, though, it, it's not, none of it's completely catastrophic, and it's a good time to find it. Yep. I'd rather just get the engine good now, and then we have a good engine ready to go in service. And there's things that you and I have wanted to do for a long time, like these thermostats, some of these back hoses that you just can't get to unless you do something like this. So. Yeah. Here's Dad. Yep, looks like he's got a chain, so it's time to get this he's head off. He's going to beat us with that chain.
The hose. There's one line connected back there still. slide towards this way to come off. You're bending that back thing. You're only on a little bit. There we go. There we go. Okay. Just stay down for a second. We can get her now. I got it. You can take the two by four out of it. I don't know if I can. It is a... Uh... Hang on. Let's do a couple more turns here. Alright. Swap me spots, Dad. <laughs> okay. I'm going to lower her back. I have to go ahead and throw it over. Whew. That was fun. This side looks a lot prettier. Look at this story. Well, you guys are getting some bonus. Uh, Music in there. Sorry. Oh, that was nice. So, still gotta wipe it down and clean it. They were thinking maybe they were thinking maybe they like on the side of the road lost a had to replace on the side of the road and drug it. I don't see any thing crazy on this one. Although the one thing I was a bit concerned about is this cylinder's valves. Oh, you could have just asked for the flashlight. Because this cylinder was a little bit low on compression compared to the rest. Not saying there isn't a problem with the uh, the cylinder, but we're thinking it's possible that that could have had valve leakage, but definitely looks a lot better on this head. <laughs> All the bolts out of it? Mm -hmm. Unless there's one on the front here. One extra, yep, that's odd. I need a, I need a, there you I don't want to hit the body. UPS has not come yet, these are not come to about five. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so this is that cylinder that was the low outlier. Not leaking though. The only wetness on there is from when you flipped it at the end. You flipped it down the middle, but nothing's leaking from the valve. Yeah. You want me to lift it up and pour it back in the can? Uh, Where's it? Got it? So, valve seal was just found laying on the ground next to the head. It's definitely from here, from this engine, but all the valve springs are in place. So, really wondering how that just got. I mean, I know what happened that but it stayed in the head <laughs> clearly that, that was the level of care that this was assembled with seeing that other head got the first head here all stripped down and apart get everything moved over and strip that one so you got both heads stripped down ready to go you're going to get them loaded up in the back of Lance's Suburban so we can get them over to the machine shop for us. And that's going to end it for today, I think. So the next day or so here, we'll hop back under it. That's good. And uh, get the oil pan off. We'll get the cylinder kits out of it and figure out the rest of the parts we need to get ordered. So Lance's got a business card here. You guys can uh, see him in his professional look. I'm going to be honest. I probably knew you for, well, I knew you for years. I'd, ne I'd never seen you in a suit before. Yeah, I showed up one time. We were, you yeah, were we showed up to your house and you were in uh, this suit. And I was like, <laughs> yeah. the hell? But hey, if any of you guys uh, want to hit him up. Guys, I land all over the country. Rates are the lowest they're ever going to be. And they're all about Don't to focus. Up, I can promise you that. Well, I'll try to get it here so you guys can. Uh, my camera does not want to focus on that. Anyway, you'll figure it out. Bank of England. Uh, you guys, Franklin, Tennessee, ask for Lance. The loan driver, just look me up.
Hashtag loan driver. Or you can get huh. that QR code. Let's see if it'll focus on that. Focus. It's I'm trying. You know what? I'll get a picture and I'll just I'll throw it in.